ask you, how many people do you have in your roster of talent? Oh, thousands. Thousands, thousands. really, thousands from all over the place, from other countries too. But they're specialized. I know what their specialty is, and I only use them when they're asking for that type. Uh, there are some that, of course, I know very well, and I know if they're asking for a great spokeswoman, I, I know them so well. I just send those, you know. I, I do uh, study their resumes carefully. I study them. They come to my office. I talk. I give them some lines, and they give me their, uh, you know, little things that they prepare. I check upon their experience. They do have, I want them to have experience, except models don't have to speak, but they have to have some experience in what they do. So whatever they do, I check it out, and if there's any doubts, then I don't send them to the audition. If I feel that it's really good, I see they have the talent and they fit what they're asking for, then I do submit. How does the talent get to you? How do they get the chance to audition for you? Well, the best way is when they send the mail to me and I can study their resume and look at their picture and if I'm interested I'll call them and they'll come in and we take it from there. I do not want actors to call me on the phone because the phone rings constantly and I want casting directors to call me and uh, producers to call me, and investors, because I'll tell you about investors in a minute. Okay. But I don't want actors calling, because that would mean thousands of people all over the place. All they have to do is mail their picture and resume, and if I'm interested, I'll call them in and do the auditioning in my office. In any given day, are you sending a few people out? Or are you sending it depends on It what? depends on the uh, subject matter, yeah. and uh, how, how sometimes uh, casting directors are very specific. It must be that he definitely has to talk Russian, or she definitely has to have uh, um, no hair, or you know, very <laughs> yeah. long hair. I mean, whatever is very specific, you have to match that. So when they're not that specific, you could you could offer a lot of people, but when they are, it narrows down. You got to yeah. do what they want. Then they call you the following day, or they don't call. They send an email. These are the people that we want to come tomorrow. At they give times and address and how they should dress and so forth. They respond the next day through the email what they want from what you have sent them. Mm -hmm. So they're the bosses, but and the idea is to get, get in touch with the actors and send Then them I have out. to yeah. call all the actors and tell them you yeah. go tomorrow and this is what you do and mm -hmm. you have to be on time and all that stuff. Yeah. And if they have a call back, then I say, hey, just be very nice when you go there. You could just ask a question that, uh, do you want me to do exactly what I did before? You could ask that question and do whatever they want, but be very nice at a callback because that's one step away from getting the job. So you're very pleasant, yeah. and you never bother the casting director too much when you're at an audition. You just do what you, you're very pleasant, but you do what they ask, and you don't try to get them in a conversation, and you don't say, could I do it over again, please? You don't do that, you know, you're just very nice and very considerate of their time. Do what they want.